I mean, we, we have barely emerged from centuries of, of barbarism. It's not, it's not a surprise that there are shocking inequities in this world. It, it is hard work to, to climb down out of the trees, walk upright, and build a viable global civilization when you, when you start with technology that's made of rocks and sticks and fur. And this, is, this, is, this is a project, and, and progress is difficult. It, just, just picture going back a hundred generations within your own family. I mean, just picture, picture it kind of mapped onto this room, maybe this, this front row. Just a hundred people. Your father's fathers, mother's fathers, mother's fathers, fathers, on back. Now, I don't, I don't care how cultured you are, what, how well-educated your family. You can be Matthew Chapman, whose great-great-grandfather was Charles Darwin. But if you just keep going, in no more than a hundred conversations, you are going to meet someone who thinks that sacrificing your firstborn child just might be a good way to control the weather. It, we, it, it is, some of you probably don't have to go back quite that far. <laughs> you just have to go home for Christmas. Uh, 